Hi, this is Autodidact and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Apache, MariaDB MySQL, and PHP FPM. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so I have just created a VPS or Virtual Private Server on DigitalOcean and it's currently running Ubuntu Linux, which we will be using throughout this video. Now, let's start by running the update command just to make sure everything is updated. So, you'll say sudo apt update and then enter the password of the user you are currently logged in and wait for a few seconds here. Okay, almost there. Alright, now let's install the Apache. sudo apt install Apache 2 or version 2 and yes here. And wait for a few seconds again. Next, we're going to add firewall and we are going to use uncomplicated firewall. So you say sudo uh, ufw app list and then we're going to sudo ufw allow. We're going to allow the open SSH first and then Let's go ahead and allow Apache full. This will allow HTTP and HTTPS. And let's enable. Oops. I misspelled this. Okay. Yes. And now we're going to sudo ufw status. And we're good there. Now let's try the Apache if it's working. It is working. So. Next, we are going to install MariaDB or MySQL. So you'll say sudo app install MySQL or MariaDB dash server. And yes, here. Wait for a few seconds here. Okay. And here we go. Alright. Now you'll say sudo mysql secure installation. Enter here. And let's set root password. Yes. And new password here. And then re enter new, re -enter new password. Remove anonymous users here. This allows root login. Remove test, load privileges, and now let's try MySQL. You show databases here. I'll use MySQL. And let's try some queries here. Let's select user table here. So there's only one user. So let's Add user, grant all on all databases and tables to add new user, add local host, identified by and the password. You can assign the password here if you want. The grant option. Okay, now let's recheck the table, and we have successfully added the new user there. Okay, now we are going to exit this or flush the privileges first. Okay, and then exit. And uh, let's try to log in the user we've just added. Oops, I think I uh, wrong password here. Okay, so databases. Alright, now I think we're good there. Alright, now let's install PHP FPM. If you don't know what FPM is, it stands for Fast CGI Process Manager. It's an alternative to Fast CGI, which was developed to help PHP based applications run faster. So basically, it's designed to speed up PHP processors and scripts. So if you're running a PHP based website or application, I will really recommend you install and enable PHP FPM to speed it up. Alright, now you say 
sudo apt install php fpm and then I'll include php mysql there yes here and then wait for a few seconds We're almost there Right. Then to we'll say sudo, we're going to um, edit the PHP configuration here, and we'll change this to um, want to listen to. 1 to 7 the 0 the 0 that 1 9000 for 9000 and then save that file then we'll say sudo I am patchy we're going to <coughs> add a tag here files match PHP file there and then set handler to proxy just follow me 127 0 0 1 that's local host and the port 9000 save that and then now we can uh, sudo yam uh, var www html create info.php we're going to try if php is working already say a call php php info info there okay sudo system CDL to start Apache and system CDL to start PHP service there and that PHP oops so not working uh, let's say sudo okay. Apache 2 enable site uh, no not working so uh, working oh now I remember I forgot to uh, enable the module so Apache 2 enable module proxy uh, C F C D I and sudo system CDL restart Apache 2 and let's try again and yes it is working all right now I'm going to show you how you can host multiple websites or domain um, in a single server using Apache's virtual host. Alright, now I have my fully qualified domain here, mailswash.com, and I, we're going to manage this one. And so we can add a record here. We're going to add 3A record here. And we want this to point to our um, server where we are currently working. So I also want to add a subdomain here uh, other site dot and then I'll add www here as well and now we're good alright now let's make a directory for each of the sites Swash.com sudo uh, let's change the order to the current user um, let's now uh, change mode to 755 and now we're are uh, we're going to do the same for the other site that mailswatch.com 
then let's change the order as well for other site.com and then change mode to 755 for the other site.com okay now we are going to uh, create a file in this that HTML so we can copy this one I have prepared simple HTML here you know, swatch.com and copy and paste here and save close the file and we're going to do the same for other site that mail swatch.com and I'll edit this other site.com copy and paste it here and save close the file and then we can copy the uh, default configuration for the patchy and uh, copy it to the this is for our mailswatch.com and then let's edit this and I'm going to change this to mailswatch.com and add a alias here www.mailswatch.com and change the document root to mailswatch.com and then save close let's do the same with let's do the same for the other site that mailswatch.com copy the mailswatch.com configuration for other site that mailswatch.com and then let's edit this one other site.com configuration and let's uh, edit this to uh, we don't need that alias here so other site.com and then save close and now we are going to sudo apache cdl config test uh, Okay, to start now let's try the mouseswatch.com oops it's not working mm -hmm. why is it not working so let's try uh, sudo Apache 2 enable site mailsource.com. Uh, same with the other site that mailsource.com. Let's try again. We start the Apache 2 and try again. Oh, not working. It's not working. Okay. Mm, you know what? I'll try to disable the default uh, configuration so let's restart Apache 2 and uh, boom so you've successfully made it working and other side that so is working now let's try um, creating a file so we can test if the PHP is working on each of the directory we've just created for mailswatch.com and other site.com so I have, uh, I'll create the function here close save and then save for the mail for the other site.com then create same function here for PHP Save close and now we can test if it's working and I hope it will work 
it is working and the other one it is working so we have successfully configured Apache MySQL on MariaDB and uh, PHP so I think we're good here thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something new today if you like this video or my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified for new uploaded videos just a quick note here if you have questions in your mind or something to say please don't hesitate to type it down on the comment section below because I will be reviewing all the comments and I hope to help you